Good morning. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lily. I'm a college student at Bryant University. Um, yeah, super excited because yesterday or last night was my last day of work. Oh my god, I like cannot speak right now. I just woke up. Last night was my last night of work, which means that now it is officially time to focus on back to school prep. It is Friday, the 27th, I think, and I move in Monday the 30th. So, in a few days. So, let's get it. I made a list of everything I have to do. Um, also, sorry, I'm whispering. My sister is in the room next to me, like, sleeping. So, I don't want to be screaming. But, yeah. Made a list. Maybe, can my camera stop? All the shit I need to do. Um, I need to clean my room. I need to order contacts. I actually already did that. I need to write a workout plan. That sounds really weird, but I like to like make a list of different workouts that I can do on different days so that when I get to school, I'm not like overwhelmed. And I do it based off of my dance schedule because I dance for my school. So like I have dancing practices and workouts from that. So like on my off days, so, like you'll see, I'll, I'll show you. Um, I have to get my nails done because these are all grown out. I have to go to Costco, go to Target. I have to, oh my God, st hello. I have to go to Lululemon and pick up my order because I ordered it to the store. So, cause I wasn't sure if it was gonna get here in time. So I have to do that today. Um, I have to go through my college bins because I still have not unpacked the bins of stuff I brought home from when I was sent home for COVID. Don't ask, I have to do that. I have to pack oh. and I need to clear out my bathroom, do my laundry and I need to put staples. Um, yeah, so you know, pretty like low-key but extensive list of things I have to do. It is probably like close to 9 and I have a 10 o'clock wax appointment. So I need to like get shagging on this wonderful list of things I need to do. So let's do it. Um, I think I'm just going to quickly get dressed and also I'm going to make my bed because I need to clean my room. <laughs> Alright, so I just like really crappily made my bed because whatever, it works. I'm probably going to change my sheets soon anyway because I'm leaving. But yeah, so I just quickly got dressed and did like very light makeup, like just a little powder. I didn't even put concealer under my eyes, which I probably should have, but I did like powder and some mascara because I didn't want to look dead. But yeah, oh, I should have my outfit. Um, so we're currently in a heat advisory in Connecticut, so that's why I'm like wearing no clothing because I'm going to be sweating But this is a top. It's a workout top actually from Lily Pulitzer, believe it or not Super cute got it while I was in Nantucket and then I'm wearing a Lululemon Tennis skirt kind of looks like shorts from the front like really if you look quick, but it's a tennis skirt and then my adidas sneakers and then my hair is just clipped up in a claw clip. Yeah, it's like already 85 degrees and it's nine in the morning. So it's just gonna keep getting hotter and I just don't really feel like dealing with anything else. So we're just gonna wear like as little clothing as possible. But yeah, so I need to low key leave. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get situated and Head to the car and we're gonna we'll be off all right and we're off some ice water for the black lab come on oh you're welcome my hair it's literally like a gajillion degrees out and my black lab insists on sunning himself like, dude, you're gonna overheat and die. But I just gave him a big thing. I'm not even gonna focus. I just gave him a big thing of ice water. Like I said, I'm heading 
to my wax appointment, so I will check back in after that because I am just gonna drive there. So I'm in the Dunkin' drive through and my camera is drinking, blinking low battery, so if I switch to my phone at some point, that'll be why. But pumpkin is back and I'm gonna get a pumpkin coffee because I love pumpkin. So, yeah. Hi, um, can I please get a medium pumpkin cream cold brew? Okay. And then can I get a bacon and egg sandwich on a plain bagel with no cheese? Nope, that's it. Bro, I totally let them con. All right, hi. Um, seriously, so annoyed to let my camera die, but got my wax. I'm actually so surprised at how little redness I have on my lip. I think it's because um, they use a different wax. I normally get like, like disgustingly red, but I don't know, I didn't. I didn't even eat my breakfast sandwich yet. Got my wax. Um, I don't even know if I told you guys that I got a nail appointment for today, which I'm so excited about. Um, I got, I hate doing pedicure and a fill at acrylics at this on the same day because I just fucking cannot sit there for that long it makes me so angry I don't know I think it's just because I'm a busybody and I need to distract myself by like sitting on my phone so like when I get my toes done like I'll just go on my phone which like some people think that's rude but like it's how I relax now I'm gonna run to Target um, I literally only need famous last words like a handful of things from Target. I actually don't even know what I need. I need like dumb stuff like body wash like shit like that. All right so I'm at Target. I'm walking inside right now. I'm hoping I can just zip through here. Me because they don't have Celsius by the case. They don't even have like single cans in it. Bag secured. Let's go. All right, so Target was a success. I sure I forgot something minor, but I mainly got, I got a big pack of tissues and a pack of unscented large trash bags, but that's mainly for packing my clothes because we only have scented ones at my house. But then from and then I just got like my cellar water, some hand soap, which I could have waited for Costco for the hand soap, but um, my sweet mates also like will get stuff. So like, I just was like, I'll just get two things of hand soap while I'm there, better than nothing. And then um, I just got like a four pack of like makeup sponges, like the Real Techniques ones, like just like little things that I use every day now when I was like, all right, like, let me just like buy these in bulk. So I have them I got like dish soap, um, free and gentle Tide Pods, because I don't think they sell the free and gentle Tide Pods at Costco. Every single time I go, they only have the normal ones and the normal ones give me a rash. Um, yeah. And like dryer sheets. Like I just got like stupid shit like that. And then I am think I'm going to wait to go to Costco till like tomorrow or like another time because I don't like going to Costco by myself. I need a parent with me, like I, it stresses me out. But all I really need from Costco is some like K-cups um, and like ramen and a case of like San Pellegrino, like stuff that I always use like constantly. I'll get a Costco size pack of that and put it under my bed. But now I'm gonna go to Lululemon and pick up my order because that's a time sensitive thing. Um, it's in the middle of like the most fucking it's in New Haven. I'm going to New Haven. And that is so crowded and a shit show constantly. But um, if I don't pick it up today, they are going to return my order. And I don't want them to do that. As I previously mentioned, went to or I'm in New Haven right now. I just drove to um, Lemon. Um... I'm at like the shops at Yale is like what this little section's called. It's Yale's move-in weekend, so that was a big fat stupid thing I did. I came and I conquered.
Initially, I got these shorts. They're the hottie hot, the, the line shorts. This is essentially what I'm wearing right now, except I don't have the 2.5. I have the longer ones, but I got the shorter ones just to like switch it up. I have a feeling they're gonna be way too short. Then I got the Wonder Under training cropped leggings. They're 23 inch, they're really not gonna be cropped on me. But I got the black camo because it's always sold out whenever I try to get it. Um, I mean, like, these aren't gonna be like full length, they're gonna be like ankle length, but on the model, they're like cropped, but they're not gonna be cropped on me. Then I got Wonder Train. These ones are 21 inch, so these are like actually gonna be like normal cropped leggings, and they're like this olive color. Super cute. And then I got. just the Align six inch shorts. They're like bike, obviously biker shorts, but these, oh wait, no. These aren't the right ones. These are supposed to be, oh no, they are super high rise, Never mind. I'm an idiot. But these are the super high rise version. Um, I definitely could have gotten the eight inch and not have, and been fine just because I have bigger legs. But I was just nervous to get the longer ones because I didn't want them to like look really like I didn't I wanted them to be biker shorts I didn't want them to be like obnoxious biker shorts like, I didn't want them like to my knees I wanted them like mid-thigh so they should be fine regardless then what I got from the markdown sale thing because I walked in and they had one I got a 10 inch biker short these ones are like long like these will be like full these ones are more so for like working out with like a sports bra or something like these the other ones were just like basic i wanted a line biker shorts to lounge around in and like wear with a big t-shirt type thing not really for working out these are like workout ones they're the fast and free and they have pockets on the sides these are nice and then i didn't order any sports bras which was stupid of me so i got this one also marked down this is the new lewin mesh yoga bra so like this is not for like high intensity but this is like cute cutouts like and I also have the leggings that match this already so I was like okay I have to then I saw this jacket they have it I think they had it in other colors but they had it in black and green marked down and I saw this on Instagram like someone was wearing it and I was like oh that's so cute and I had black but it, the black reminded me too much of like a dance costume I thought this would be cute for like the fall or I mean all year round, but like super nice to like wear over my like sports bra to practice so I like don't have to walk around naked. Yeah, so that's what I got from the Lululemon. Now I'm gonna drive home cause, and I'm gonna turn the car on. I don't know why I'm gonna do that to begin with. Hopefully I can get out of this parking lot. All right, hey guys, I'm back. I got my spare camera battery. It's 90 degrees out. Um, oh shoot, my list is downstairs. I'm an idiot. I think I told you guys I got a nail appointment. It's at three. It's 2.25. So as you can imagine, I have to leave soon. But my, the nail salon is not too far away. Although I got a coffee this morning. So I kind of want to like make myself a bite to eat here before I drive there because a three o'clock appointment is gonna, for toes and fill, I'm gonna be starving halfway through, so. But yeah, I just let my dogs out, let them out to go to the bathroom because my family's not here. They're all out and about and I felt bad. They have not peed in a while, so. Let them do that to fix my hair because it's just disgusting out. All right, clipped up. All right, so now I have to, oh, I went to Staples because I got what I needed at, from Staples from Target. All right, so now I'm going to get my nails done. And then the only thing I have left to do that's like an, an errand is Costco. 
but like I said, I'm not doing that without my mom or my dad, because no thank you. So, I'm gonna jump in the car, head to the nail salon. All right, I'm back in the car, heading to the nail salon, and then I'm finally free. Oh my God, Ava arrived at home. My sister just came home. All right, hello. Um, home now, it's later, I just had dinner. Um, I checked, I don't know why I like, can't speak right now. I checked off nails. The only thing I have left that's an errand is Costco, like I said before, but everything else is clean my room, self tan, go through my college bins, do my laundry, clear out my bathroom drawer, and pack. So, in a perfect world, I'd have this all done tonight. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to try to clean my room tonight. Alrighty, so I totally pranked you all, and right after I said or filmed that last thing and was like, I'm gonna be in my room, my dad was like, Costco. So we have checked Costco off our list, meaning I just have all the cleaning stuff to do. So that's sad, but we're gonna do it now. Um, my room is like pretty much like base cleaned i mean those are just the little lemon clothes i just tried on and then my laundry and i can't expedite my laundry so i'm gonna have my dirty clothes like sorted and ready to do laundry and like run that all tomorrow but i think i'm gonna just clean out my vanity and my desk my desk won't take me long my desk is more of like an organization of my stuff but my vanity i need to like throw shit out so we're just gonna like jump in to doing that and then i just have to like put away the clothes in my closet i'm hoping i can do it in like less than an hour i'm gonna like challenge myself to that so okay so i'm actually like dead from running around all day um so i'm gonna go to bed wash my face and everything and i'll pick this up and continue everything in the morning so see you in the morning all right hi it is the next day it is now saturday i don't know why i have no voice <clears throat> but i just woke up and i'm kind of in a time crunch because my sister wants me to, to run errands with her but like didn't really plan on that today all right so i'm going to tackle my room right now i'm gonna just try to like bang it out and like 30 minutes. I think I'll be able to do it if I just like focus and just like do it. So Hi, so it's a lot later now. I'm like half dressed because I went to a bridal shower thing. Um well, whatever, during this process, and I just took my jeans off and I'm wearing like pajama shorts. But didn't realize that my time lapse had stopped while I was doing my vanity. And then I was just like so in and out doing the rest of my room that I just like didn't film any of it. So, um, update. This is clean. Um, this is as a move words, this is as clean as it can get for now because. A lot of this stuff is going to school with me. This is going to school with me. You can ignore my bed because I was sitting on it. My closet is still a mess, but that's because I'm doing laundry and I'm in the middle of packing. So this is as clean as it's gonna be until I move everything from my room downstairs to be put in the car for packing wise for school. So that's exciting. I've been telling myself I'm gonna clean my room all summer and I finally cleaned it right now, the day before I move into school. It's fine, I kept my word. Now that just leaves, write my workout plan, I will do that, self tan, I'm gonna do that right now. And then I have to finish packing, doing my laundry, go through my college bins and clear out the bathroom, but that is like all one collective step and I'm going to wake up early before my day tomorrow because tomorrow i have a fun day planned with my mom and one of my sisters we're gonna go to 
Blueback Square, which is like in West Hartford, Connecticut. And we're gonna get blowouts and just like have a little because I move in Monday and Ava, my youngest sister, starts school Monday. So just like thought, why not? So yeah, um, I'm gonna put self tanner on and wash my face and like get ready for bed. And then I'll probably pick this up in the morning and finish it off. So for self tanner, I like all different ones. Like I really jump all over the place. Um, I like Saint Tropez. I am a Saint Tropez fan. They're pretty good. Um, hot take. I do actually really like the Tanologist tanning water. Um, my biggest complaint with this stuff though is that there's no color guard, so it's kind of hard if you're not very experienced. Like, I'm like, I self tan all the time, so like, I have like a ri I don't want to say ritual, that's aggressive. But, like, I have like a routine when it comes to it like i know the techniques and i know my body and i know how to like get every inch if you're like new to self tan don't recommend this because it's hard to know if you missed a spot with this but i just like know how to do it um i'm not gonna use this one today because i'm actually an idiot and i bought the spray version instead of the mousse it literally says self tan water the other one i think says self tan mousse i don't know why i like thought this was the right one but that's okay, I will use this. Um, I find this easier to use at school because the floors are hardwood, so I don't feel as bad like standing on a towel and spraying myself, and if it gets on the hardwood floor, it's easier to clean up. I don't wanna do it in my room where I'm on the rug, and I don't wanna do it in my white tile bathroom because if I miss a spot and it stains the cabinet, my dad will kill me, so I just saved this one for school. Um, my complaint about this one, it, though, is that it doesn't last as long, I find, that it fades. But it does fade evenly, and it doesn't fade into, like, splotchiness. It just, like, gradually fades, so that's pretty cool. But my winner that I'm going to use right now is the Bondi Sands Aerated Self-Tanning Foam in Ultra Dark. Love this stuff. As I am shaking it, though, I don't know if I have enough to do my whole body. So, with that being said, I'm going to do my start from the bottom up like i always do and if i run out of that i will just use i'm just gonna focus on my legs and upper body and hope for the best bye all right hello i'm just spraying perfume on all right i'm wearing lily pulitzer shirt american eagle jeans and platform pumas We're leaving. Hello, hello, I am back. I just went shopping and got my blowouts with my mom, you know, had a day for ourselves. Um, and now I need to pack for school because I literally leave tomorrow. Um, yeah. So while, I don't know why my chin's all red right here, that sucks. While I wait for dinner to get ready, I'm going to start the packing process. So what I'm gonna do is continue with my laundry I'm almost done with the important stuff so I'm gonna finish that and then I'm gonna make a list of what needs to be packed because I feel like if I make a list of like what specifically needs to be packed that will keep me from forgetting something like important because if I didn't write it down it probably really wasn't that important all right my dinner is ready and I made a list I didn't make a list of any of the clothing items I needed aside from my sorority whites and specific dance team pieces just because everything else was kind of like it is what it is so I'm gonna go eat and then I'm gonna bring my bins up from downstairs that I need to unpack still hey, what where are you going I don't know where are you going what I found this all right, hello. I look crazy right now because I'm trying to like prolong the curls. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I have my clothes, some shoes, half of the stuff downstairs. I'm pretty much packed except my toiletries aren't packed and my school backpack's not completely packed, but I'm honestly gonna go to bed and finish this in the morning, so. You can just tell it's like 2.30 in the morning and I'm also that packed all my clothes fit 
Hi, happy moving day. It's currently like 5.45 in the morning. I have to leave in like an hour and a half. I just like am not done packing and we need to pack the car and I just like thought I would get up. I don't know. So I'm gonna finish like changing and brushing my teeth and like putting on a little bit of mascara so I don't look like dead inside. And then I will probably check back in All my stuff is packed and I'm heading downstairs. Um, yeah, didn't make my bed because I don't care. Hey guys, surprise, I moved in. Um, so, we hit a little bump in the road during my move in process. I'm gonna post you guys. Also, I look horrendous because I was so sweaty from moving in because I don't have air conditioning in my dorm. But I took a shower, but I didn't wash my face yet. So it's like my makeup's half rubbed off, like look crazy. I didn't wash my hair because I have practice in the morning. But anyways, I think last I vlogged, I literally was like leaving my house. Like I wasn't even like in the car or anything. Basically, long story short, if you know, you know, my dad does not like when I vlog around him. So I choose not to, but I pull up to Bryant, it's all fun and games. And this is also at like low key, like no disrespect to Bryant. Like I'm not trying to like come after Bryant University. Like it was just like a misunderstanding upon multiple parties, which sort of just like left me. But so we pull up, our move in time started at 10 a.m. for club sports, which is a dance team and cheer team are at club sport. So that's where we came. It was us in men's rugby today. So we pull up and Matt, the athletic center, get there for 10. Someone comes with our keys finally at like 10.45. So at this point, like I'm already like agitated because I had gotten there for 10 like I was supposed to and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and like they were coming out and like I was like, ah, I feel so bad. My parents are like waiting in the car, whatever. So they come out, they start distributing the keys. They just like don't have a key for me and i was like i'm okay so they're like hold on let's figure this out let me no so i was like sorry my camera ran out of storage but so then they were like all right like let me just go and see and so now it's probably like 11 30. they come out no it's like 11 45. they come out because i remember it was like an hour and 45 minutes close to two hours they come out with a key for me and they're like this says that you're in XYZ. And I was like, that's not my room number. I'm supposed to be ZYX. Like they res they mixed up the numbers. And I was like, ah. so he goes, oh, hold on. Goes out, calls res life, blah, blah, blah. And they tell him like, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, nope, this is her correct room number. This should be the right key. So they told me that it was just mixed. Mi it was just mismarked, but the right key. So finally, come like 12, coming into my building, mind you, it's so hot, I've been waiting there for two hours, come up, it's the key to the wrong room. Like, it's not my key. So I go directly to Res Life, and I'm like, what the fuck is my key? And obviously I was not calm during this whatsoever because my dad was getting worked up, my mom was getting worked up, like it was so hot, we're hungry, I'm freaking tired like it was just like not a good vibe for me and so basically long story short dps let me in i still don't have a key to my room but i moved in so i stopped vlogging because like there was just so much chaos that i was like i feel like if i start vlogging like uh so that being said i am putting this clip on the end of my college prep vlog and we are making this a college prep and move-in vlog. And I didn't really film me moving in whatsoever. But, you know, to make up for lost time, I'm going to film a brief overview of my room. There's going to be an actual room tour to come because Katie still hasn't moved in yet. Katie just moved in a little bit today because she had all the decor. So we figured we'd get a head start since I had access to the room. So we hung up most of the decor. We still have a few details to add. Our common room's not decorated at all. And, like, Katie's desk and, like, everything else isn't so basic overview 
this is what our common room looks like right now. Um, Katie brought the TV. That's gonna be Julia and Maddie's room. I'm in the middle. And then Sarah and Christina will be over there. We have a chalkboard wall, which we're gonna paint over because we don't want it anymore. There's that. This is just like what it roughly looks like right now. Now quickly, when you walk into mine and Katie's room, it's the overview. We have a mirror with some vines and some lights. My desk, Katie's wall decor and everything. This little setup. This is my bed. It's my closet. Pretty cool, pretty nice. Super chill vibe, I'm into it. Like I said, I'm gonna have a real room tour coming soon where I'll actually like tell you guys like where I got things and like I'll show you like Katie's desk set up and it'll be more like geared towards like actual like functional um, like dorm living. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, sorry I barely got moving content, but I'm here, I'm at Bryant. I'm super excited to be here. And there's gonna be tons of videos to come. But yeah, I'm gonna go to bed because I have practice early in the morning, but love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.